Hey guys, okay, this is part two. <laughs> I actually started shooting part two and then I had a delivery show up, which completely upset my conversation and my flow. So hopefully, sorry, I'm just ripping this towel. I should just throw it away. Anyway, here's what I was saying for those of you that are tuning into this video, didn't watch the last video. In the last video, I was getting all fired up because I've been talking about, you know, the biggest aha, moment of clarity that I've had that is just a game changer. It's a huge game changer because I finally feel like, wow, that's the secret. At least for me. Um, what I was saying, sorry, it's just a towel. Um, what I was saying at the end of the last video is, you know, I've looked back at the last year, the last couple of years, and I've just, if I were to simplify it, I would say that in general, I feel like my days are running me. I'm not running my days. I feel like I've had a high amount of stress. That high amount of stress, several people has told me, has a massive effect on my health. Had a lot of people, I've had this message coming to me of like, Alexa, you gotta decrease your stress. And I'm like, how can I decrease my stress? Well, guess what? Cool thing is, most of the stuff that's causing my stress is because of me. And I said this in the last video. Some people might go, why are you excited about learning that? It means that I'm in control of changing it. Again, you might hear this and go, oh God, she's been listening to Tony Robbins again. This sounds very self-helpy, but the thing is, guys, it, it's just practical. Because you know what I do? This is exactly the thought process that went in my head. I'm getting my, my planners out, and I'm thinking about, okay, what are the things, you know, I've, I felt so out of control. I felt so stressed out on the work side with the totality of how much I have to do. And I find myself going in, whether I'm on the road, you know, looking at my laptop and just looking at it like it's the devil. Like, I don't want to do all this stuff. And I think about how much stuff. Um, we're in the beautiful position, my company, of having a massive amount of demand. And I look at it like, I'm looking at my ex-husband with just like massive, you know, resentment. And, and then that upsets me and then that creates more stress and more anxiety. And I find that I keep procrastinating. When I procrastinate the work that I don't want to do, then my stress level is higher because then when I do go to do it, I can't put it off anymore. <laughs> Not that that's what I should be doing. But when I finally sit down, it's usually like I did in college where I'm, sit I'm sitting down Sunday night to study for a midterm the next morning and I haven't even opened the book. I did it all the time because it was really bad. Um, but it... it Everything is related. So if you think you have high anxiety and you think that you're, you're, you're not productive, don't just go, well, I'm just not productive. Or, you know, I used to say, I'm, I'm just a procrastinator. Also, it's, suddenly it's gotten very dark in here. Hold on, I'm gonna see if I can turn this one light on and if it'll matter, because all of a sudden, it's stormy here. Does that make a difference? Maybe, just a little. I put the whole light on. Um, so you can sit there and go, well, I'm just a procrastinator. Or you can try to really figure yourself out. There's two types of people in life. Maybe this is very simplistic. There's certain people that I know right now in my life that'll go, you know, oh, well, I'm just 50 years old. You know, you're not gonna teach an old dog new tricks. That's bullshit. You can do whatever you wanna do, okay? I'm 45 and I wish I would've figured some of this stuff out earlier, but at the end of the day, it's ultimately me that is, uh, you know, in charge of do I want to make changes or do I want to get to the end of next year and go, wow, another year I just feel like I spent all the time overwhelmed. I really didn't feel like I changed much. You know, I'm still constantly behind the eight ball. I, I didn't work out as much as I wanted. I didn't reach my fitness goals. Here's the moment of clarity that all of this comes to. And you guys have to do it in your own way. Sorry. I just love that this has, you guys know how much I love leopard print and tiger print zebra print, whatever the hell it is. So here's the thing. I was looking at my days and looking at what was causing my stress. Um, let's start with stress. Um, what I just mentioned before. Not, not getting my workouts in caused me stress. Um, feeling completely and utterly behind every single day of my life with work and feeling that it just kept growing and growing and growing and that I was always, it's like, just think of a mountain and the mountain just keeps getting bigger. 
and every day you walk outside and you hate it more and more, but on the other hand, you have to attack it. You know, this is my business, I have to do it. But that was, that was creating stress. And to me, I think all of those things, me also feeling like I wasn't giving my, my health just enough um, attention. I wasn't giving my social life um, until last summer uh, enough attention. You know, I hadn't dated anybody or met anybody or even gone out with my friends for two or three years. I'm not joking, you guys. All I did was work. All I did every single day of my life was work. That's what startup life is. But I also chose to not make a difference. So I thought about all this stuff and, and how all of it is connected. It's all connected. You know, when you're when I'm not getting in the fitness stuff that I want, that means I don't reach the goals that I want. That means that my whole insecurity inside is increasing. It is something I'm gonna work on. How I how I talk to myself, how I treat myself, positive self-image, that's key, guys. But all of these things, you feel out of control, you're not getting the results, and then the fact that you don't get the results makes you feel even worse. So that's stress. When you have a, a bad attitude about work, you have a bad attitude about work because you're not getting anything done. You're not getting anything done with work because of the way that you're not attacking your day. And you're, I mean, it can be something as simple as not keeping email open. You know, if, if I say I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna just get these proposals done, guess what? If that's really all I do and I turn off my cell phones and nobody can text me and I don't open Gmail for work or for personal, I will not get distracted. If you put anything in front of me, if someone texts me and I, oh, blah, 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 oh, Sherry, oh, Whitney, all of a sudden, you have 10 minutes gone here, 10 minutes here, all that stuff adds up and you'll suddenly look and it's five o'clock and you're like, wow, I, I can't tell you guys how many times last year I would look up and it'd be four o'clock and I would have said to myself that day, I'm gonna get 12 proposals out. Or I'd say to myself that day, I'm gonna work out at lunch. And all of a sudden, it's four o'clock. Now you might think, how in the hell can you get to four o'clock? Well, guess what? That means that I opened up email. That means that I started getting my news out and, and I got distracted by news and by Twitter. And I, my mom called me and we got into a discussion about someone's birthday and what are we gonna do? All that kind of stuff, if you don't decide to take the reins on your life, you will have every day be like that. Guys, every day of my life has been like that probably for more years than I wish to imagine. Um, I'm excited because I'm seeing, I'm seeing so clearly what the fix is, you know? For me, I need to make a list of what are the things I wanna do every day and what, what time do I wanna to allocate to them? Why haven't I been blogging? Why haven't I been shooting my videos? You know why? Because all that stuff I just told you about creates this constant attitude in my head that I don't have time, there's no way. I, if I put this video camera up here and then I have to upload it to YouTube and then I've gotta do this and then I sit down, the blog's gonna to take too long, I'm so behind. I just keep looking at all this stuff like it's this powerful superhero that is floating up here and I'm powerless. I'm, I'm powerless. Guess what, I'm not powerless. I've created the monster or monsters and I can tell you this, I am going to change it. I might have said, oh, I'm gonna be more organized. I'm gonna do this. Guys, I was cleaning out my office, um, you know, the past week or so, and I had, I mean, this is embarrassing, you guys. I'm 45 years old, but this tells you how I have let days just run over me. I would get my mail when I would come home from a trip, and I'd have a huge stack of mail, and I would bring it in my office, and I have all of these wonderful, I think I got them at TJ Maxx or whatever, these beautiful black, trays for, um, and they're almost like boxes that you can line up and everything goes in them. So I have, you know, but, but I would start laying things on the top of my desk in little stacks. This is probably not it, but actually this wedding, um, this wedding announcement was due December 1st. This was in there. I, I will make stacks of things and then I put them in there with the intention of, oh, look at that on Saturday. Do you think that ever happened? No. Well, then the next week would have more stuff added. The next week, I had stuff in there from a year and a half ago. I had a bill. I had several bills, my water bills. You know, and then I get the email notification. At least, luckily, I have email notifications on everything but one bill. But I, I just, I never, one of the new mantras I put up on my board in there is face it, don't fear it. Guys, you might not think you fear something, but you probably do. Skip this ad. 
I fear looking at everything that's built up. Um, and when I say fear, I don't mean, oh my God, what's it going to do to me? I've talked about this before. I'd look at that big stack and I'd go, oh, there's something in there. I probably, I should have to. And you don't want to deal with it. And then the longer that you avoid dealing with something, whether it's your bank account or sending that email to somebody or confronting somebody that you have to at work or dealing with a family issue, whatever it is, it's like, if you stop going to the gym for a while, that first time getting yourself back to the gym is bad because you can build up in your head this, I'm gonna go, I feel fat in my clothes, everyone's gonna stare at me, I'm gonna feel stupid, people will know I haven't been there. I bet you when they swipe my card, they're gonna look and they're gonna see like, Kelly hasn't been to the gym and um, Whitney's texting me. You, you develop a fear because you, you just keep pushing something away. I don't wanna deal with it. And if you're like me, it, it becomes more unappealing like the work I told you guys. I have always been going into my office going, oh, there's so many rules to do. And, and what'll happen is, I mean, who am I to be complaining about that? That's what's made my business explode. That is a blessing from God, you guys. And here I am complaining about it, and putting it off, and putting it off, and putting it off. And that's unprofessional, of course. Um, it's, it's preventing me from getting us to a next level of success because what I do is I just keep feeding how tired I am. I keep feeding how stressed I am. And I go and I develop this attitude of, oh my God, it's gonna take so long. So I would go in on a Friday and say, great, I have no appointments. I'm gonna work on proposals today. And then because deep in the back of my consciousness, I have a bad attitude that the proposals, they're a bad thing. They're gonna take so much time. I don't like doing them. I would go, okay, I'm gonna do proposals now. And then I'd go in my, in my office, because I wasn't consciously aware of this, and be like, I don't wanna do it. And I'd suddenly, the kid in me is like, um, oh, I think I have laundry to fold. I think I'm gonna go fold laundry. Have you guys done this? Um, maybe you do it instead of working out. Maybe you do it instead of having a confrontation with a family member or, um, you know, husband, wife, uh, whatever. You, if you don't realize what you're doing, which I certainly didn't, I just had become, I had made my business, not my business, the stuff that was building up, this mountain of stuff to do. I'd made it the enemy and it was becoming this glowing, big, hairy monster, right? They say you have to attack your big, hairy monsters. It had become this monster that was... You know, think of any cartoon or bad superhero movie or whatever. It's like this big, huge thing, like, Rah! and I'm like this, like shrinking away from it and hiding. You're giving it power, okay? All of that attitude, all of that stress was caused by me. The fact that I put on my workout clothes and let the morning get away from me, that's because I wasn't focusing on one thing. There was no plan, there was no schedule. Do you guys see where I'm, I'm going with this? When I say, that if you look at yourself really, really hard, like almost as if it's not you, it, look at yourself as if you're in third person and, and be really honest with yourself. When you change your attitude, this isn't just hokey stuff, guys. When you change your attitude towards something, everything can change. Have you guys seen that saying on Pinterest and certain books, whatever? And it's kind of one of those things maybe you hear and you're like, sure, if I change my attitude. I put something up on Facebook come to think of it. It was a saying that was, uh, it was on Pinterest and it said, we don't see things the way they are, we see things the way we are. And a couple people wrote, they're like, what the hell does that mean? I totally get that, you guys. I've been looking at my days, I've been looking at my injury, I've been looking at my stress as if I have absolutely no control. This is happening to me, guess what? It's not, I was, the reason that I've had a bad attitude about work the reason that I procrastinate is because of my attitude towards the totality of things I have to do. When I started to, there were a couple of huge deals that I closed towards the end of the year. And it gave me such a feeling of like, I just got so amped up, I got so proud. And I could not wait to get in my office. I couldn't wait to clean out my office this year and get organized. I was just so fired up because I was like, yeah, I've had success. It's the same thing with working out, right? Or, you know, making your relationship better. Once you start to have success, success begets success, okay? It is about attitude. I'm realizing my attitude has been the determinant of everything. I felt out of control. Did I do anything about changing my schedule? Did I change the order of my days? Did I, I had, I had an awareness of the fact that I'm easily distracted, that I do too many things at once. I get into my office and I don't even have a plan. 
I don't have a plan for what proposals I'm doing. When am I going to answer emails? When am I going to take calls? I just let the days come and I, I deal with what hits me and I'm always behind. I'm always out of control. I'm always stressed. That stress affects my health. That stress and lack of productivity affects my workouts. Do you see what I'm saying? It's all like this. And yet in the past, I'm like, how, this is my life. Look, that's my life over there. I'm stressed. I can't finish anything. Guess, guess who's in control of all of that? Me. It doesn't make me happy to say that. I wish I would have figured this out two years ago. I wish I would have learned the lessons in business and in my personal life and in my uh, professional life that I learned um, and really made changes. The changes I made this year, I wish I would have made them four years ago. I wasn't mentally ready. This seeing things clearly and seeing what I've done here that has made this effect here, that's made this effect here, this made, it's just given me such a feeling of power. And I hope you guys understand when you are real with yourself and then you see the areas you need to fix and you change your attitude, everything can change. Now that I have a different attitude, I will give you an example about work. I don't go into my office as if I'm being pulled in like, oh, you know, I go into my office like, hell yeah, what do I get to do today? Like, I can't wait. I can't wait to attack it. And when you have that attitude, yes, you're going to have stress. Yes, you're going to have bad days. But the way that I have changed my attitude, and you guys, I know I just did two videos that were the equivalent of a 30-minute sitcom. I hope at least I'm getting you fired up because... It, everything's different now. This is the first time I've been at the beginning of the year where I actually am not just having an idea, having a vision of what I want to do, but feeling at the same time powerless in many ways to, to get there. Um, it's, it's like anything. You know how they say if you're a ship, you, you, you've got to have a place that you're, you're, you're sending your ship. That's not the right words. But you have to have, you've got to map out your, your course. Guess what? My ship, the past year, the past several years, I've just been like floating out in the middle of the ocean and looking at the shore going, oh, I, sh I should go over there. Oh, no, I should go over there. No, I should go over there. And I'm not really getting anywhere. Um, and this year, so many things are going to be different. Um, and a big part of it is just taking ownership of what you're in control of, taking ownership and having clarity about the fact that all these things are connected instead of going, well, I'm just, there's no way I can ever get on top of things. There's no way I'd have time for working out. There's no way. Reverse it. Go backwards, like I said. When you say, I'm really stressed, why am I really stressed? What causes me stress? Well, I get headaches. Why do I get headaches? Come back, work backwards, figure out the, if you can, you know, figure out the core cause for me. I think you can see, I've figured out the core cause. Do you think that I'm going to say anymore? I don't have time to vlog. I don't have time to do my videos. I don't have time to work out. No, because you know what? I'm mapping out what I have time for. I'm going to make time in my days for the things that I want. And all of this is going to help me control my days. I'm going to change my attitude. I've already changed my attitude. I'm going to do this. I'm not concerned that I'll have a challenge or whatever. This is what I'm gonna do. And I just, I can't say it strongly enough to you guys. Golly, it's a 20 minute video. Change your attitude, be real with yourself. That's what's gonna make a difference in everything you wanna do this year. So hey, fist pump to you, sorry, um, but not sorry for the long videos. I'll see you tomorrow.